Hello everyone, back again to today's first video, doing JMA Friday for today's first video. So, as always, on a Friday, we have a look at the weather for the week ahead. I mean, it's going to be pretty much a May uh, month ahead look here, because it takes us more or less to the very end of the month. Um, so, I'm going to be very shortly, just to say that we'll have a week to 10 day video update coming up later on, all of the regular features. I'm going to have a quick look at the uh, coming uh, bank holiday Friday, one week today. Uh, we're going to have a uh, bank holiday. Uh, for the uh, early May bank holiday, also for uh, 75th anniversary of the E Day. Tonight we've got Terry Scully's uh, May forecast coming up for you. That'll be around 7 o'clock at GavsWebBiz.com. So a proper busy old day of it today, and I hope you're going to find all of the uh, videos and content interesting and informative. Uh, don't forget to give us a thumbs up on video, and I say that you are enjoying all of the content. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well. Right, so we're going to start off with the uh, 500 millibar height anomaly uh, flow charts of a JMA for the next four weeks. So this is the week one 500 millibar height anomaly from the Northern Hemisphere, or from the Arctic and North Pole view down, I suppose, looking at the Northern Hemisphere. So this would be the Arctic Circle just here and then the wider, um, the wider Arctic uh, up there. And then, of course, we've got the uh, mid latitudes around here. So blue is extrapolating to uh, low pressure, yellow, or orange, and red to high pressure. These flow, mean flow charts are breaking down to weekly periods. The first week period will take us from today, the 1st, 1st of May, through to the 8th. The coming week looks quite unsettled, actually, with below average heights coming in from off the Atlantic. Some above average heights down across southern parts of Europe. Jet streams on a little bit of a southerly track as well. So it does look rather cool and unsettled to start us off for this first week of May. And these unsettled conditions look like they're continuing into week two as well. This one's taking us from the 8th through to the 15th of May, with, again, below average heights across much of northern Europe, above average heights pulled out into the middle of the Atlantic. Jet streams doing something a little bit like that. So, again, it is looking uh, rather cool and rather unsettled. The low pressure provides a very showery conditions and we could be putting in some sort of northerly type influences as well. So rather cool and unsettled for both weeks one and for weeks two with the JMA. Weeks three and four takes us from the 15th to the 29th of May, so more or less to the end of the month. And still looks rather unsettled, really. Below average heights now are being pushed up to the north. Some above average heights in the middle of the Atlantic. Jet streams going a bit further northwards as well. I will think still probably a bit unsettled, especially for northern parts of the country. Um, but probably a bit of a recovering temperature. We may be starting to pull up some slightly milder air from sort of the, the middle of the Atlantic. Remember, it's a two-weekly anomaly as well, so it could be a bit transitional. This high pressure might be starting to get a bit more influential as uh, we move towards like the end of uh, May, perhaps, and push pushing the low pressure the jet stream. Uh, a bit further northwards. But to be honest, there's not a huge amount to go on there for weeks three and four. And as a two-week anomaly, I think it probably still is quite unsettled. Let's have a look at what I've got on mid-latitude view. So we come back to uh, week one. The British Isles and Ireland in the top right-hand corner of the chart as you're looking at it. We can't see the Arctic or indeed the North Pole or Scandinavia, Greenland, most of the areas are all off the chart. But have a look at that view down so we know what's going on in terms of a broad Northern Hemisphere type pattern. So anyway, for week one, it's unsettled. This is from the from the 1st through to the 8th of May, it's unsettled. Low pressure is in off the Atlantic. And uh, yes, jet stream is coming through as well. You'd expect this to be rather a coolish week. Actually, the temperature anomaly is holding up okay. It could be a little bit cooler, I think, this week than uh, that suggests. And also quite unsettled, particularly so for England and Wales. Rain tend to be more focused, if anything, in the south than uh, further north. But all areas... Slightly above average with rainfall and uh, are not particularly exciting temperatures either. Uh, week 2 is the uh, 8th to 15th of May. Low pressure then extends through Western Europe. High pressure is pulled out into the Atlantic. Again, we're on the cold side of a jet stream and we're looking uh, pretty unsettled there. Temperature anomalies actually go a bit below average there for week two. Uh, yes, slightly cooler than average temperature anomalies there for the second week of May. 
Precipitation anomaly is a little bit dry for northern parts of the country, but still above average for England and Wales. Overall, this does look quite a cool and unsettled first half to May, definitely. Uh, then move through to weeks three and four, which takes us from the 15th through to the 29th of May. And then the low pressure and the jet stream start to be moved or start to push northwards. Just a few hints, perhaps, of some height rises uh, a bit to the south. Tension normally starts to stage a slight recovery, beginning to go perhaps onto the slightly above average side, uh, if anything. Still looks rather unsettled though, doesn't it? With precipitation still a bit above average, really. So this could be quite a wettish May, if the JMA is right. All weeks are coming out uh, with uh, rather above average rainfall. And certainly the first half of the month looks quite cool as well. So not the most inspiring um, outlook for May, it has to be said. But we shall move on, see what the uh, CFS V2 is forecasting. So again, these are 500 millibar heights. They're broken down into weekly peers. The first week peers is going to take us from the 1st to the 7th of May. The uh, coming week is quite uh, quite messy, really, with above average heights to the south of Greenland, a deep trough in the middle of the Atlantic, high pressure down towards Spain, and low pressure, quite a deep trough over Scandinavia. We're sort of in the middle of all of that, so the weather's coming from all directions, but I think overall probably, similar to what the JMA is showing, quite a changeable week uh, to start us off. Week two is the 8th through to the 14th of May. Quite a big difference between the CFS and the JMA now. More high pressure inferences, but to the north west of the country, low pressure sort of to our south and southeast. That might not be all that unsettled, but it could be quite cold. Winds could easily be coming in from like a northeasterly, northerly to northeasterly direction. So uh, I would have thought it's not overly unsettled, maybe showery down in the south and southeast close to this low pressure. But the main thing with that is that it could be quite a, quite chilly. So actually, um, the, uh, the JMA was forecasting below average temperatures for week two. Uh, CFS is also forecasting below average temperatures for week two, I would have thought. Or certainly a pattern that could deliver below average temperatures uh, anyway. Uh, week three is going to take us from the 15th to 21st of May. More unsettled this week. Low pressure back in from off the Atlantic. So, uh, yes, that's another unsettled week. Probably quite significantly above average rainfall there. A week four doesn't look that good either. The 22nd, 28th of May also has below average heights coming in off the Atlantic. Jet stream lining up northwest, southeast, so not going to be particularly exciting with the temperature. And it all just looks very mixed. So two models, the Jeremy and CFS, are differing uh, somewhat about how they get us uh, to this position through May, but they are both sort of in line in the idea that this is a very mixed May, it's rather unsettled, certainly changeable, probably rather unsettled, and not particularly exciting from a temperature perspective, that may be rather cool with the temperatures at times either. Week 1, temperature only from the surface, V2 from the 1st of the 7th of May, close to or a little bit above average. Now, week 3 is interesting. Week 2, I should say, is interesting. This is the 8th to the 14th of May. It's actually going for quite significantly above average temperature. But if we go back to the height story, I'm not sure... Uh, how he's managing to do that with high pressure sort of to our north and northwest. Low pressure is through there. And the only way wind direction uh, can be with that is like north to northeasterly. Uh, I suppose it could be picking up some sort of warmth from the south of these, but I, I don't think so. I think that would be I think that would be quite a lot colder that week than the model is showing. So actually, from a temperature perspective, uh, the JMA and CFS are not in line for week two because the JMA has a colder than average week here this second week of May. The CFS is above average. Uh, week three is uh, the 15th, 21st of May. That's average to possibly hints of being a bit above average for northern areas. A week four, again, average to possibly hinting of being a bit, a bit above average. So today, the temperature normally is holding up okay with uh, the CFS. There's no real problems from a temperature perspective. Precipitation. Uh, finding the CFS to the 1st of the 7th of May, uh, close to or maybe a bit drier than average for the north. Uh, week 2 is the 8th to the 14th of May, that also is uh, largely drier than average. Week 3 looks a bit wetter than average, this is the 15th to 21st of uh, May. 
And then week four is the 22nd to the 28th of May. Uh, very weak seals by this point, but possibly still hinting at being a little bit on the wetter than average side. It's all very confusing, actually, uh, this. But overall, it looks very elusive, this May, as we've been saying uh, within the video output lately. Uh, there's quite a bit of uncertainty about what's going on with this May. Um, but what I would say is that, again, I'm not seeing signs here of a consistent dry and warm signal. So I think we're going to have a relatively changeable month. And I think the temperature probably isn't looking all that spectacular either for this May. It could come out a bit above average. But I don't think we're going to see the sort of really warmer than average um uh, really warm and average month that we've had for, with April, for example. I don't think we're going to have that sort of three degree temperature uh, with this month. At least there's not any signs of it. Uh, I mean, it could happen, but there's no real signs of it within the JMA and the CFS. That said, the CFS is holding the temperature up reasonably well uh, with this update today. But uh, to me, the patterns look like they are probably quite unsettled uh, at times, certainly changeable. And uh, just rather mixed. So it's a rather mixed picture for this May, as it has been, to be fair, all the way along uh, with the updates over the past few weeks when we've been looking at and talking uh, about May. It has proven to be a very elusive month to pin down, and that sort of goes on uh, today. Uh, right, so that's JMA Friday uh, for this week. So I think the main takeaway is a relatively changeable May, but it won't be a complete washout. We're not going to be looking at sort of um, a May 2007 or late May 2007 type pattern. There will be some decent dry spells in there, but overall a rather changeable um, sort of pattern. I think that's the main takeaway uh, from JMA Friday today. Just a snapshot of what these models are showing. They could all look very different next week. So any forecast beyond five, seven days comes with big health warnings. We're going to be back later on with your week 10 day video, day including all the regular features. Uh, we're going to have a look also uh, later at uh, the coming Bank Holiday Friday, 8th of May. One week today, we're going to be Bank Holiday Friday. And, uh, of course, we've got Tony Scully's May forecast coming up for you at gazlovers.com tonight. Um, but the next video will be your regular week, same day, and that will be uh, along quite shortly. That's all for now, though, and thanks for watching.